Another disappointing loss for the Seattle Seahawks as they fall 23 to 13 to the Arizona Cardinals as the offense continues to struggle to get going. Don't turn the ball over. We got two penalties in the game. What the heck, man? Um, it keeps reminding me that there's things that we're doing that we're doing well enough to be a winning football team. The turnover thing just continues to be there. And uh, it's, it's just really frustrating that we can't get this thing turned. In the first half, the offense couldn't get into a rhythm or into the end zone. Two trips to the red zone resulted in two field goals by Jason Myers to get the Seahawks on the board. When we almost had a touch on the DK, he almost got his foot down. That was almost a sweet catch, you know, how he caught that. And then he almost got his foot down there. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't. Um, it, it didn't. It wasn't, it wasn't counted in, and then the the one I, I missed, Freddie there, kind of low. I was trying to throw it low to him, and it was just a little too low. Um, other than that, I think that um, we had the drive. Uh, I'm just trying to remember them all. We had the drive where we got down there right before half, and then we ended up kicking the field goal. We, we we've been one of the top red zone teams in football. You know, today today it didn't go the way we wanted it to, but that's just been what, what we've been. Um, so I, I think that's unfortunately didn't it didn't happen today. We've been phenomenal in the red zone. You know. We, we our numbers are great, um, but unfortunately, we, you know, the first couple times down there, we didn't get in, and uh, you know, usually it's really it's a strength. We think we're scoring every time we get down there. Third downs were an issue on both sides of the ball today. The offense couldn't convert, going two for ten on third down attempts, and the defense couldn't get off the field, allowing Arizona to convert on 50 percent of their third down attempts. When when ten guys do their job and one doesn't, you know, that play can happen. Uh, you know, you got to give credit to those guys over there. That's a great group of guys, uh, well coached, um, you know, have a lot of talent on that side. Um, and they made things happen. We just couldn't get off the field. Not controlling the game by, you know, controlling the possessions and we're not getting it on third down. And it's putting us on the sideline. And when we're going against other teams who are really good at controlling the clock, it puts us in harder positions to be able to get going as an offense. I think second time we got the ball, um, in the game, it was going into the second quarter, you know, almost. And so it's hard to be able to get in a groove and it's hard to find a rhythm when you're seeing like, oh, this play worked and that play worked. But it's like we're still trying to get within our first 10, 15 plays that we already, you know, then pretty much had out. Despite no Kyler Murray or DeAndre Hopkins for Arizona, the Seahawks defense struggled to stop backup Colt McCoy. The Cardinals finished with 413 total yards of offense. He had a heck of a game. He had a heck of a game. He ran the ball a little bit and uh, threw, the, threw a lot of balls, you know, and made a lot of completions. Um, he had a good game. It's just stuff he made happen on his own, you know, because, like, we knew the game plan. But, you know, I mean, I tried not to take him lightly. You know, he, he was with the Giants last year. He came in here and beat us, and I just tried not to take him lightly. Late in the game, the Seahawks finally score a touchdown. A deep 48-yard catch by Tyler Lockett set up a two-yard touchdown run by DJ Dallas. Man, I was happy to get in there. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were, you know, I felt, felt good contributing. Felt good just to contribute, you know, and, and help the team out. Down by three, the Seahawks defense trying to get the ball back to Russell Wilson and the offense, but a defensive pass interference called in the end zone on third down gave Arizona the opportunity it needed to score and seal the game. I kind of I kind of put my hand on him a little bit, hooked him a little bit. Um, maybe they called that, but I let go at, you know, uh, bang bang situation. You know, everybody has their opinion about it, but um, obviously, you know, uh, I can't I can't, you know, have that penalty towards the end of the game. You know, to, you know, hurt the team. So, uh, uh, you know, I got I to gotta get better. Not the result or season the Seahawks were expecting this year, but the players aren't giving up, and they hope the fans aren't giving up either. Uh, there's so many. I have so many reasons, you know. It's the guys that we're coaching. It's the way we operate. It's the attitude that they bring on a regular basis. Um, it's, the, uh, it's the coaches that have the, the, you know, the work ethic to, to keep pushing and, and attacking the, you know, the issues. And, and I mean, everything about it, you know, everything about it. Because I don't feel any different. I feel like we're going we're gonna to win next week, and we're going to go play a great game on the East Coast and, and, and come on back here and get ready for the next one. And I don't have any other thought in my mind. I'm just disappointed that i got to keep coming back in here and talk about the same stuff and don't feel like I have good answers for you uh, because our answers so far have not turned it. And uh, so that's, that's why I said I thought I was really clear about it. It starts with me. I've got to get this done. It's now or never. You know, we're in a place where you got to win every game, you know, to even have a chance. And so, like, you know, for us, 
if anybody could do it, I think it's us. You know, I've been here for a long time. I've been seeing some crazy things play out. And so, I mean, anything can happen. And, I mean, it's really just about what story do we want to tell, you know, as the team going into this year. Well, the loss drops the Seahawks to three and seven on the season. And next up, they go on the road to take on the Washington football team on Monday Night Football in Week 12.